Okay, we're going to talk about head cover. Um, this is a big part of, especially the beginner section, but for all types of people, we need to, to know that you should be trying to cover your head if you can't hold your board. Holding your board is number one. If you could do that, that's great. If you can't do that, and that's a lot of the time you can't do that, you've got to cover your head. Okay, why? Why your head's so important? Listen, if you got smashed yourself in the knee, and you're with your buddy, you're with your friend, and you want to help, yeah, like what would you do? Yeah, get your arm up in the air, it's just kind of straight arm wave like that. Okay. Now if you bust your arm, what would you do now? <laughs> the other one. <laughs> the other one, okay. If you bust both arms, it's just a big issue, you know? And this is not silent, we're going, hey, 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 help, 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 you know? Don't forget this is not just for you. There might be somebody in the wards, you see the lifeguards over there, lifeguards don't see everything, and bang, you save that. This is 112. 999, whatever your emergency phone number is in the country or where you're from, this is what it is in the water, okay? But we're not doing it if we've got a blow in the head and we're unconscious. So head cover is vital. We cover this area of the neck. Why? Well, it's got a lot of nerves, it's very sensitive, and if you can get a blow in here, uh, you could paralyze yourself. Now I used to teach that you covered the head like that, which was years ago, which was fine, but we worked out with some statistics from Australia, from the lifeguards there, that this neck damage was a real issue. So we changed the head cover by putting the fingers in here and then touch the elbow to the elbow. You do that for me, Yella? Now all she's doing, she's got a bit of a block there, and it's a bit like that Viking Norman helmet. Like, it's not going to stop a blow there. It's not going to stop a blow there, there, there. But it's something. So, we've got that head cover. Turn around and you'll see where her fingers are. Her fingers here are locked. Uh, now, they don't have to be the whole hand. What people do is make the mistake of putting... All the guys do it all the time. They put too much hand there, and then they can't close up the arms. It's just fingers. Your fingers are enough protection there, and there it is, okay. Now, we're gonna practice this, and we're gonna practice it by, uh, I'm gonna say one, two, three, and you're gonna put your hands up to your head as fast as you can. Speed's essential in this, okay? So here we go. One, yeah. Well, no, just stand for the moment, I think. We'll do that in a minute. One, two, three. Okay, now you don't know when it's coming. One. Two, three. Good. Don't be too high with the hand. You're relaxed and one, two, three. All right, good. Now, you see people, and because it's done quickly, making all sorts of mistakes. You get the classics. You know, you see them. This is a classic. You see people do this quite a bit. I got this one. It's like a Marilyn Monroe kind of thing. Uh, I watch people smack themselves in the face. I've seen people go, oh, especially on the beach. Oh, why, why? I don't know why, you know? But it's just this. It takes a while to learn that. Now, when you've got that cover, when you come up from underneath the water, you see people going like, oh, where's the board? And the board's flying through the air and banging the head. You should be, oh, where's my board? Oh, there's my board, you know? So, that head cover, it's simple, but it's complex too. You need to remember, I know some schools, and this is cool, they teach, you can put your arm up in the air there. As you come up, keep one head covered, find your board. That kind of works as well, all right? but I prefer kind of the double kind of lock here. So check Claire here. It's a really unexpected wipeout. The rail catches and the head's covered. It's the same for Yella. Rail gets stuck, she knows she's going, and the arms come up straight away into a good cover. This is a true story. Guy we knew, great guy. Did a bit of illegal street fighting in London. Big tattoo, flipping builder. Lovely guy, hard man. He covered his head brilliantly. He was such a big boy, he needed a 10-foot board. He covered his head every day. On the last day, I was walking down a beach. I saw the instructors blow the whistle, recall. He came off that board. The one time he didn't cover, that board came, boom, from that much water, across the face. It didn't break his nose, it just got rid of it. How he got on a plane, I don't know. The big thing about it was he was in shallow water. Often some of the worst head cover moments, it's like putting a ball in water. If I put a round ball in a swimming pool, you might have done this when you were a kid, you let it go, that ball goes, it's spherical, so it goes thoom, straight up in the air. You put a banana-shaped floaty object, like a surfboard, it's going to come out any way it likes. 
So what happened to him was he thought he was okay. He was actually standing when this board came out of the water, wind behind it, 10 foot long board, through the face. All he needed to done was had that block up. And he was so angry, because he was a fighter. And he went, mate, he said, man, I'm always used to blocking, and the very time I don't block, I get it in the head, you know? It's a classic story. Right? Now, we're gonna have Yella in her riding position. And uh, again, I'm gonna clap my hands so that uh, she knows when to cover. But this is the wipeout that Yella basically, she can't grab this board. She's simply gonna hang on to her head and relax. Now when she falls, she, she won't fall here obviously, but she's gonna fall flat. Do not go diving off with your hands like this. You get to shallow reefs, she'll soon work out why. You know, that idea of falling backwards, put the arms behind us, bang, I've disloaded on a sandy beach. So this head cover, it helps us relax as well. It helps us fall flat, okay? Anyway, you're in your riding position, nice and low, super fast ride, you're just dropping down that wave, you're just making a turn, slowly, nice. Just caught her edge in the turn, couldn't do anything about it, off she came. Right, she's up, she's on her backhand now, she's turning on her backhand, she's going down that wave, she's gotta get low, she's going into the bow. A little bit slow on that cover. You were thinking too much about the tube, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <it was> nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Here it is, pipeline, man. You've been surfing <laughs> 20 years. You're in Hawaii. You're screaming through that wave. You're going fast, fast, fast. Stay low, stay low. Good. All right, guys, there's a big thing about helmets and why don't we use helmets. Often you'll see people um, on the Pro Tour penciling in. That's a new thing. That does work. Um, you'll not see the hands come up to the head sometimes, but often under the water they're doing it. Um, you'll very rarely see people dive in. If they do, there are hands going to the head. You know, it's the helmets, you know, we tried them. And the trouble is that in front of a wave, there's very, very smooth kind of water surface. It's like hitting a brick wall. If you've ever fallen into the flat of a wave, it, you may as well land on the sand. So what happened was with the helmets, that when they were going in, because they just didn't have them so that they'll penetrate the water and necks were going over like that. So, you know, but there, you know, you see, I know a couple of people still use helmets. Kamau in Lanzarote, they'll use them. Okay, if you want to use them, you use them. You know, there's no reason why not. But you still got to cover something. That neck is still exposed. So even with a helmet, you'd still want to cover, okay? Keep yourself safe. Surfing's an incredibly safe sport compared with many. I mean, flipping horse riding, climbing motorsport, that's dangerous stuff, you know? Surfing's really safe. It's kind of glamorized a bit. Yeah, you can give yourself a bump and a knock, but if anything goes wrong with that, that's when things go seriously wrong. So head cover, head cover, as much as you can. On the video of uh, Claire and also of uh, Yellow Surfing, you see good head cover. You see the arms coming up as they wipe out. And you watch Claire, she has one heck of a wipeout, and she, bang, she's covering as she hits that water, okay? Thanks a lot.